In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the font of all wisdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me, What is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus they will heed your message. Then you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt. For doing by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He greatly increased his people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he changed so that they hated his people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant, Aaron, whom he had chosen. They wrought his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor in our burden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. My yoke is easy and my burden light. Now, the yoke mentioned in today's gospel is not necessarily something that we can relate to readily in this age. And the yoke has been replaced by the tractor. And in many farms, horses and auctions are no longer drag the yoke and plow the field. Yokes at that time were made out of wood Horse, and they were fitted over the shoulders of animals to use power in pulling the plow. And we urban dwellers maybe wouldn't know a yoke if we saw one. But I like to think that Jesus might have made one. And those who remember watching far the farmer with his yoked animals say there was a real beauty in this cooperative effort. What appears as such a great burden for the oxen can also be a positive for the farmer and the beast. The yoke allows the oxen to accomplish something that they could never do independently. And like I said, I picture the fact that Jesus probably did make a yoke under the training of his father Joseph. And the yoke served as a channel to harness their power toward the goal of plowing the field or cutting the hay. And it pleased the farmer and made him proud of the animals. In our day, we try avoiding anything like a yoke that might constrain our freedom. We want to go where we want to go and without any farmer forcing us. However, could it be that this kind of freedom never leads to contentment, only greater desire. So how can we find true freedom? Jesus teaches us that we embrace the truth and we are set free. We embrace the yoke of him and his church. And Jesus is teaching us this paradox. Yes, we are working for him, he is the farmer. We choose not to do our own things. And we are following his purposes and his will. The, the yoke he gives us will lead to peace, power, and fulfillment. And when we take on the yoke of our faith and its law, because we realize that God, God's yoke is not a burden. It is a power tool, a power tool that leads to a divine goal. Just like the farmer, Jesus is very pleased with us. And as he says, I will give you rest. Confident in God's love and compassion, we bring our prayers and needs to him today. For church leaders, may they be given the grace to hear the voice of God and respond in faith as Moses did. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit to protect all who are weak or vulnerable. 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are burdened, may Christ the healer banish all difficulties and carry them in their struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered, may God help us to rest in Christ and offer all our labors to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Judy Van Dyne, for whom this Mass is offered, may they rest in peace of eternal life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we entrust our burdens and our petitions to you today. Hear and answer them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this altar on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bonaventure, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, Eusebio and Daniel, his auxiliary bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Dear Spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.